Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a big fan of Infiday or just a person who wanted a, a mobile phone uh, with the best thermal camera built in, then your time has arrived. Infiday joined the forts uh, with AGM and released the PX1. So I'm going to make an unboxing and a lot of testing, specifications, and let's see what this phone is capable. So let's unbox this beauty first and then take a look at the specifications. So inside the box, let's see what we're gonna find in this beautiful package. In this little folder kind of thing with an Infiray logo on it, we will find a quick start guide um, about the location of the wireless charger because yes, it has wireless charger as well and the NFC area and a lot of other information which I'm going to get to uh, after uh, making a full unbox. Nice quality SIM tray ejection pin, not like with other cheaper phones comes a wire folded into a SIM tray ejection pin. Very nice. And then there we have the phone. Wow. Ooh, this is a nice and beefy, heavy, massive device. I'm gonna peel this in a moment. Let's put this aside for now. Under that, we're going to find the charging and the USB C charging cable. Let's put this here for now. And now let's take a look at this beautiful unit. Yeah, it looks very nice. The thermal camera uh, cover is a nice black uh, mirror. Wow, looks very nice. Uh, have a screen protector pre-applied. I don't know if uh, it's if I can show it. I can see here the. It's a very nice, very nice and very strong unit. Let's power this on. comes on uh, immediately with an Infiday logo on it. Two thousand years later. And there we are. So let's remove the SIM card tray before the specifications. Let's take a look. This model takes dual SIM plus an SD card. Get a nice and strong uh, SIM tray. The fingerprint reader reacts very fast. As soon as I touch, it comes on. No problem. So now let's dive into the specifications a little. So before we jump into the details, what's under the hood, let's see what's outside. On the left side of the phone, you will find a programmable button. This you can assign for the camera or for any other task. You will find the SD card and SIM card tray. This uh, closed with a watertight sealing. On the bottom of the phone, you will find USB-C and the 3.5 mm jack cover. Under this, uh, you will see 
the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack and the USB-C port. This is a nice uh, strong watertight sealing. On the other side of the phone you will find the power button and the volume rocker. Uh, all the buttons uh, both sides are made uh, with aluminium, uh, good feeling, very strong buttons. On the back of the phone you will find uh, the camera system, also an indication that it's a military standard uh, 810 certificate. You will find here uh, the 48 megapixel main camera, uh, the 2 megapixel macro camera, a 20 megapixel night vision camera. I don't know if you look here carefully, uh, there is two light, there is two uh, infrared uh, reflectors this providing the light in complete darkness for the uh, night vision camera. You will find here uh, a flash LED. Uh, and in the center you will see the Infiray built-in uh, thermal sensor uh, with a 256 by 192 uh, resolution uh, with 25 uh, frames per second. Also here you can see designed by AGM and Infiray, so it's a program. It's a it's a form of a collaboration of the two companies. So out of the box, it comes with uh, Android 11. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, there's absolutely zero bloatware. It supports uh, dual SIM cards uh, out of the box. Um, the size is 172.8 by 82 by 14 millimeter thick. Uh, it's quite heavy phone. Um, as a customizable button. The processor is an 8-core Snapdragon 480 uh, 5G capable processor. Um, the protection rating is IP68, uh, IP69K. IP69K it means something like uh, tested with high pressure water stream. Military standard 810H, uh, that means the phone can take a lot of beating uh, without any problem. I'm not going to make um, damage testing because the factory already made a video about it, uh, which you can see in a couple of uh, pictures. Slot quantity, choose two of three. That means uh, you have a SIM tray that has three slots, but you can only use two options. Either two SIM at simultaneously or one SIM and an SD card combination at the same time. But even if you use uh, two SIM cards simultaneously without an SD card, uh, you still have 256GB uh, storage capacity at your service, along with 8GB uh, system RAM. Uh, the storage type is uh, UFS 2.2. Uh, it's not the fastest, but not the slowest. It's very good. Supports uh, SD card up to 512GB. Uh, the screen is a 6.53 inch uh, Full HD Plus uh, LCD screen. Uh, with Corning Gorilla Glass, uh, I think six or maybe three, I'm not sure. I couldn't find the exact information. The main camera is a 48 megapixel Sony sensor, uh, then a 20 megapixel also Sony uh, night vision camera and a 2 megapixel macro and the built-in thermal camera. With a resolution of 256 uh, by 192, uh, it's about similar to the P2. The front camera is a 16 megapixel uh, selfie camera, I think it's also Sony. The interface uh, is a Type-C uh, 3.0, uh, supposedly. Uh, it also has the 3.5mm jack, uh, of course, microphone. It has a big speaker, uh, it's quite loud. Of course, uh, supports GPS, um, Bluetooth uh, 5.0, uh, NFC, built-in radio, um, a nice large uh, 5500 mAh battery, 18W uh, charging. The charger, the 18 watt charger is included uh, and wireless charging support uh, which comes handy uh, because you don't have to open all the time the uh, USB port cover um, so you can just put it on a, a wireless charger and there you go. As you can see in Antutu V9 it does a fairly decent almost uh, 347,000 points. As for the storage speed, uh, it does a fairly decent uh, 338 MB write, uh, 503 MB uh, per second uh, read, and the memory, memory speed is 5.42 GB per second, so it's a fairly decent spec. Now let's take a look at the thermal camera app. Uh, it's, it's a fairly decent app uh, with a lot of features. Um, the built-in thermal camera of 256 by 192 
Uh, it's very similar to the P2. Uh, the difference is the P2 have it's a little better in uh, longer distance and worse in closer distance than this. So they have the lens configured in a slightly different way. But as you can see, it's even in this long distance of almost uh, 100 meter and does a fairly decent job. For some strange reason, if you take a photo and you use the post-analysis uh, part of the software, because there is post-analysis, then the image detail is more clear. I think the algorithm is a little over-sharpening it, but uh, you can see that the camera is very capable, even though it has a very high field of view. Also, you can choose among uh, you can in post analysis. You can choose all the all the color palette. You can analyze the picture. Um, you can do a lot of things. As you can see, it in this next part, uh, closer I get, uh, the image here gets even more detailed and clear. Um, on the P2, you cannot see this level of detail from this close distance. So this camera shines much more uh, with the closer details. Also, if you want to see more of this recording, just uh, leave it down in the comment section and I will try to upload in the next video uh, much more uh, purely recordings of this uh, camera. Here is another example demonstrating how good is the close uh, distance uh, recording with this kind of cameras. As I go closer to this water boiler, you can see every detail in the timer, the brand, uh, it's very clear. Uh, you can see the pipe, every detail of the hot pipe. Absolutely nice and clear. Uh, you can see the cold pipe as well is absolutely black, dark in the in the background. As the metal reflecting the heat, you can see the shininess of it. It's very nice, very nice camera. Thanks to the high sensitivity of the sensor, uh, you can see even the footprints uh, on the floor uh, much more longer than with other type of cameras. Um, also, the accuracy is a two Celsius plus minus. Temperature range uh, is from uh, minus 20 to 550 Celsius. So it's a very, very, very useful camera for any industrial um, or any recreational activities. The thermal fusion uh, that mixes the thermal image with the real image is also works very, very well. And you can also change the amount uh, of uh, how much thermal or how much real image you want to see on the picture. Helps you identify more heat spots. Um, very nice feature. Surprisingly, this phone can also be very well used for uh, identifying short circuits um, on any kind of electronics, small electronics. And the fusion mode uh, also helps you even further in that. So here's a quick going through the uh, color palette. Another interesting thing, uh, if you're for example a doctor and you are familiar with uh, body thermography uh, to detect early stages of diabetes or uh, thrombosis uh, in legs or arms, uh, you could very well use this phone for that kind of purpose. Uh, thanks for this color palette allows you to see every detail of the hand or any kind of body part you want to observe. Also you have the option to adjust uh, the contrast. So you can adjust the level of contrast and seeing more details uh, until the veins, until every little part you want to observe. Especially if you have experience in this field, this will be a very, very useful tool for you.
And additionally, with the press of a button, you can also create uh, a report that you can save or send to your customer or, or patient or client. The other thing worth to mention is the night vision camera on this phone. Uh, as you can see, I'm inside a storage room, complete darkness. I'm switching between the normal photo modes and when I switch to infrared, boom, you can see everything. For my naked eyes, uh, everything is completely dark. But for the camera, because it's shining that uh, infrared reflector to everything, you can see everything. So it's a very nice function if you want to search something undetected without shining big light for something. So in my opinion, overall, this is a very, very nice phone. Uh, snappy, not 120 Hz this uh, display, only 60, but uh, this is a work phone. It's focused on being nearly indestructible. <laughs> so you can take it to any kind of uh, work environment or any hazard environment. Um, take it to hike, uh, use it outside without being worried. Uh, if you drop it, uh, your phone is going to be destroyed. Um, I don't know, let me know what you think about this phone in the comment section down below. If you would like to purchase this phone, just join to my Discord server and send me a private message. Uh, there is more likely that on this phone I can also provide you a discount uh, just like any, on any of the other uh, infrared cameras on the line. See you in the next one. Better write this one out in the closet.